tech tycoon Terry Goh said he has promised that 8 to 9 million Pfizer vaccines will reach Taiwan by the end of this year. Posting to social media late Sunday, Goh said the first batch may arrive in early September. He expects deliveries to keep coming all the way to November at the rate of 800,000 doses every week. Go also said he asked BioNTech to reserve another 30 million doses for Taiwan in the coming year. According to Go, BioNTech was very receptive to the request. Honghai founder Terry Go, who is currently self-isolating in a hotel, published a post on social media about future Pfizer shipments. In the post, Go said that 1.95 million Pfizer vaccines may reach Taiwan in two deliveries in early September. More Pfizer is expected to come in starting around the mid-autumn festival. He said he hoped at least 700 to 800,000 vaccines would be delivered every week through to November. He also said that Pfizer had pledged to ship 8 to 9 million vaccines by the end of the year. Go said he asked BioNTech, one of the vaccine's developers, to set aside another 30 million vaccines for Taiwan for 2022. BioNTech responded well to the request, he said. Premier Su Jinchang weighed in. Every country has been rushing to acquire vaccines, and the CECC has already placed orders for Moderna's next-generation vaccines. We've made preparations already. Again, we'd like to thank TSMC, the Yongling Foundation, and the Tsuji Foundation for their contributions over this time, and for the donations. We'd also like to thank Chairman Go for his friendly reminder. We should have enough to administer third shots. We do hope to have more vaccines from different brands to spread the risk. The CECC said it also has a line of communication with BioNTech. It said that future vaccine purchases would depend on changes in the pandemic and Taiwan's needs. In any case, Taiwan will buy more vaccines than needed, it said. CECC spokesman Zhuang Renxiang said Taiwan had already ordered 20 million Moderna vaccines for 2022. He said that AstraZeneca had also approached the government to inquire about any possible future orders. Zhuang said no agreements had been made so far and that no specifics on quantities could be disclosed at present.